In this time of global change, as businesses grasp the idea that teamwork is becoming increasingly valuable, it is becoming more and more likely that in the course of your career, you will be placed in the position of working within a team in the workplace. Thus, it is essential to be a functional team member. My name is Jennifer Rush, and today I'll be sharing with you a presentation on effective teamwork communication within the workplace. I will cover the meaning of both teamwork and communication, why communication is of importance within a workplace team, and how you can improve your communication skills within a workplace team. First, we will discuss meanings. We will discuss the meaning of teamwork specifically. The definition of teamwork is that individuals with diverse skills are placed within a group in order to produce a product or a service or provide a service. There are many types of teams, especially within the business world. We have informal teams, traditional teams, problem solving teams, leadership teams, self directed teams, and finally virtual teams. Characteristics of a successful and professional team within the workplace are that the team is diverse, the team has purpose, as well as a procedure that they follow in order to achieve that purpose. The team members are able to avoid conflict. They are able to communicate well with one another. They work together, and every team member contributes. As for communication, the meaning of communication. The definition of communication is that a sender shares, trans, transmits, shares or transmits information or meanings with the receiver. There are different types of communication, and here we will look at interpersonal communication, which means that multiple people work together and face to face and they interact. There are several components of communication, one of which is barriers. There are often barriers of communication that prevent a sender and receiver from exchanging information. Another component that we see here is the communication process itself. And here a sender puts out a transmission by encoding a message which travels over the selected channel and then the message is received by the receiver who decodes the message and sends feedback back to the sender and the process is repeated if necessary. Next we will discuss the importance of communication skills within a workplace team. First off, team members are much more likely and willing to interact with one another if they're able to communicate well and each person understands what everyone is saying. Second, there are reduced amounts of conflict. There's less room for conflict if everybody is able to discuss their positions, their authority, and everything that they know, and this makes it less likely that everyone will compete, thus reducing conflict overall. <clears throat> also, we look at the fact that everyone knows what their responsibility is. You're able to inquire about your roles, share information and feedback, and know everyone's responsibilities. When everyone is able to communicate and everyone knows what they're doing, it's more likely that every single person knows their exact responsibility within the team. Next, we will look at a case study provided by Cisco. Cisco provided us with some information on their change in the workplace. They decided to completely redo everything that they had their employees doing while they were working during the day. They decided that they would design a collaborative and connected workplace environment. Due to the fact that there was an overabundance of unused space and an increase in technology, Cisco decided to completely take out all of the 
all of the old technology and they decided to redo it with wireless technology where everyone would be able to mingle back and forth and wouldn't have to be stuck at the same station every day. They also decided to take out workstations. They decided to make it where everyone could work together, thus providing a workspace that was unified. Their workers were able to commingle in an environment where they could work as team members rather than in an individual person. They could work as a group. Here is a table that Cisco provided showing the cost of savings of the shared workspace that they created. And Cisco ended up saving a whole lot of money by doing this shared workspace. They saved money in real estate. They saved money in equipment. They saved money in even cabling. They saved money in workplace services. And overall, they increased their employee satisfaction as well as their employee production, which is amazing. Cisco found out that this was an incredible turnaround for them. Their employees were all, for the most part, very pleased, and this provided a workspace where everyone could be unified and work as a team rather than an individual component of a company. Lastly, we will discuss what it takes to improve your skills with your communication skills within a workplace team. There are a few components that is important to look at. First off, we look at language. Make sure that you use clear and concise language. You want to be able to avoid any kind of slang and make sure that your team members understand exactly what you're saying. If you're able to c communicate clear ideas, it's much, much more likely that anyone's going to be confused. Next, we look at feedback. Feedback is an essential part of the communication process. And you want to make sure that everyone is heard and that your team members understand that you're listening to them and that you're providing feedback to whatever message that they sent to you. Lastly, we want to make sure that you are an active team member within your group. Make sure that you take part in everything that your group does, every conversation that they have. Make sure that you listen. Listen is a very, listening is a very, very important skill and we need to make sure that we listen when working within a team. Also, voice your opinions. If you have any opinions, make sure that you say them and most importantly, ask questions. Asking questions reduces any chance of any confusion that anyone might have. Ask questions and make sure that everyone is on the same exact level and that everyone understands what each other is saying. Doing that will make you a much more effective communicator within your team. In this time of ever-growing and changing workplace and technology, it is essential to understand the value of communication skills, especially within the workplace. Being a member that can understand communication and teamwork, that can realize the importance of communication skills within a workplace team, and that can better their communication skills before entering a workplace team, are not only much more likely to be a better team member themselves, but are much more likely to be part of a team that is going to produce better and more innovative products and services. Thank you so much for your time. If you have any questions at all, let me know.